I regret loving you, Levi Ann. Taehyung, you whispered, walking towards him, but Taehyung stepped back, shaking his head. Don't come near me. Taehyung said, his voice shaking with tears. I don't want to see you anymore. Your heart sank. You knew that you deserved it, but it is still hurt. Taehyung looked at you. Taehyung looked at you, his eyes filled with sadness and anger. Taehyung turned and walked away, leaving you standing there alone. You watched him go, feeling empty and lost. But you also knew that you loved Taehyung more than anything in the world. Goodbye, Wayan. Goodbye forever, love. Taehyung said, making his way out of the terrace, feeling devastated. He walked down the hallway, his vision blurred by tears. He didn't know where he was going, but he just needed to get away. He walked out of the school and onto the street. He didn't care where he was going. He just needed to be alone. He walked for hours until his legs were aching and his feet were sore. He didn't know where he was, but he didn't care. He was just lost in his thoughts. Day. You whimper, trying to go behind Taehyung, but you flinch when Winnie pushed you from back, making you stumble, you gulp, looking at Winnie with your teary eyes. You prove that Lee Jung-hoon's blood runs in you. After all, you are his only daughter. Winnie smugged and you felt your blood boil when Winnie compared you to your father because you hates when someone tell you that you are like your arrogant father. No, I'm not like him. You yell, pointing your finger at her. What you say to Taehyung a few minutes ago, mm, a low life, right? That's what your father tells to poor people, isn't it? And you did the same thing today, Miss Lee Wayan, dearest daughter of Mr. Lee jung Hun. Minnie chuckled, unassumed, and you slapped Minnie on her face. I told you not to compare me with him. You yelled, holding Minnie's collar. Minnie laughed, rolling her eyes. Even if you deny it, you're just like him. You showed Taeyong his worth in your eyes. That poor guy just loved you with his whole heart, but you broke his heart miserably. Minnie said, making you feel more guilty at your choice of words. I am jealous of you. I can even die for a guy like Taeyong. You should be lucky that Taeyong chose you. But you just humiliated. No, stop it. What I did was right for both of us. You cried, running away from Minnie. You quickly sat on your car, heading towards your mansion. You opened your bedroom's door with a third. You took slow steps inside your slightly dark room and you knelt in front of your mother's photo frame. Why do you always give me pain, Mama? You glared at your mo mother's photo frame with your teary red eyes. You go taking out your engagement ring from your drawer. First, you made me engage with your friend's son and then you left me all alone here. The very next day, you cried thinking about the day when you got engaged to your mother's best friend son, Park Bogum. Mama, where are you? You said coming back home after school. You pouted when you didn't see your mother waiting for you at the front door. You threw your bag on the floor as you made your way towards your mother's room. You felt tears falling from your eyes when you saw your mom coughing on the bed. Mama, why didn't you call Dayo auntie? 
and Dayon, you cried yelling your mom's personal helper, Dayon hastily coming inside the bedroom. Where were you? You yelled at her for the first time. Miss Vyan, I went to bring soup. Cut it, call mama's personal doctor. You said as you rubbed your mom's back with your hand, soon the doctor come and he said you to wait outside for a while. You sat on the floor in front of your mom's room. You chuckled humorlessly because your dad still didn't come home from his work even when you called him like 50 times. At last, your dad switched off his mobile saying that he has an important meeting with his international clients. You got up from the floor when you saw the doctor coming out of your mom's room. Doctor, what happened to my mom? You stuttered and the doctor smiled sadly patting your head telling you to go and meet your mom. You walked inside your mother's room. Slowly there you saw your mother laying on the bed almost lifelessly. Her eyes looked dull, not glittering like every time when she saw you. Face looked pale and her dry lips contained a small smile when she looked at her daughter with her hooded eyes. You knelt beside your mom. Your mom slowly kept her hand on your face, caressing it slightly. You already know that I don't have much time to live, right? Jiwoo asked and you shook your head. Please don't say like this, mama. You cried softly holding your mother's hand. I always wanted to see your marriage. It is every mother's dream to see her daughters getting married. But I guess it is not possible for me now. Jiwoo said tiredly and you just cried seeing your mother like this. Please, I can see your engagement, right? Will you get married to Bogum for me? Jiu asked, caressing her daughter's hand, and you widen your eyes because you always think Bogum as your brother, and now your mom wants you to marry him. Will he agree because he sees me like his sister? You asked, and your mother chuckled tiredly. Bogum loves you. In fact, he was the one who asked your hand for marriage. Mrs. Lee said, making you girl, will you get engaged to him today? Can you consider this as my last wish? Mrs. Lee asked with a smile and you bit back your sob, nodding your head, fulfilling your mother's last wish. That evening, you and Bogum got engaged, fulfilling your mother's last wish, even though you think Bogum as your As your brother, but you hopes that you will start to love Bogum in future. Bogum left the USA to expand his father's business. They are saying that he will come back to South Korea when you will turn 18 for their marriage. The very next day, you cried your heart out when you saw your mother laying lifeless on her bed, with a small smile on her beautiful face, thinking that she at least saw her daughter's engagement before her death. You wiped your tears thinking about your mother. You took out your phone from pocket. You cried looking at yours and Taeyong's photo. You smiled a bit because you and Taeyong looked so happy smiling at each other. You wiped your tears away. You both looked so happy smiling at each other. You knew that you and Taeyong would never be together again, but you would always cherish the memories you had shared with. I love you, Tay. You smile, caressing Taeyong's face on your mobile. I love you with my whole heart, Taeyong. You cried, putting your phone back in pocket. You laid your head on the side, drifting off to deep sleep in an uncomfortable position while crying.
You yawned as you woke up from slumber. You felt a pang in your heart as you remember yesterday's events. You had lost the person you loved most in the world and you didn't know how to move on. You went to the washroom to freshen up. You stood in front of the mirror and noticed that your eyes had dark circles. They were puffy and red. You sighed as you washed your face. You came out of room wearing your school uniform. You walked out of the door but you halted your steps when you heard a familiar voice of your fiancé. Yen, Bogan smiled standing up from the couch. You gulped looking at your father and future parents-in-law. Your father smiled gesturing you to come towards them. You walk towards your father. Mr. Lee smiled, making you stand beside Bogum. Hey babe, you are looking beautiful. Bogum smirked, resting his hand on your lower back, pulling you towards himself. And you looked at him, feeling shocked. You gulped, remo removing his hand from your waist, maintaining little distance from him. Why are you in a school uniform? Bogum asked, furrowing his eyebrows. I'm wearing uniform because I'm going to school. You said rolling your eyes and Mr. Lee glared at you. But why babe? Tomorrow is our wedding. Don't you remember? I said I will marry you when you turn 18. Didn't Jung Hoon uncle tell you? Bogum asked looking at Mr. Lee and Mr. Lee laughed shaking his head. I told Vyan but she forgot I think. Mr. Lee said, and you looked at him in utter shock. But when? Go to your room, Wyan, and get ready for your wedding tomorrow. Mr. Lee said, pushing you slightly. You ran towards your room and closed the door with a third, and you slide down against the wall, crying, hysterically cursing your fate. Young woke up at midday and he realized that he slept for a whole day and half to escape from reality. He bit his lip, controlling his sob, thinking about yesterday's event. Low life, Taeyong thought, wiping his tear. He noticed his mother coming inside, so he looked at her, sniffing slightly. Tae, are you okay, babe? Taeyong hugged his mother, crying out loud, wanting his mother to hide him. Hide him in her warm embrace. Mrs. Kim's eyes became teary seeing her son in this state. She crushed her son's raven hair while humming her son's favorite tune to calm him down. Mom, let's go away from here. Mom, I don't want to live in Daegu. Let's go back to Busan or any other place. Please, I beg you, Mom. We will do something for living, Mom. Please, let's go from here. Taeyong begged, hugging his mom tightly. Okay, Tay, we will do as you say, baby. Let's leave this place, but can we wait two more days? Mr. Lee said he will give his helpers bonus extra money and gifts. From that extra money, we will rent a house in Busan or Gwangju. Mrs. Kim said, rubbing Taeyong's back softly. Why is he giving extra money and gifts, mom? Taeyong asked, raising his head a bit up. Because Miss Mayan is getting married tomorrow. You are her friend, right? Didn't she tell you? Mrs. Kim asked, smiling a bit, feeling genuinely happy that you are getting married. Mayan is getting married?
Taehyung entered the Lee mansion the same day to help his mother in your wedding. He was assigned to serve Joo's to the guest, so he wore a waiter's uniform and began to make his way through the crowd. As he served the guest, Taehyung heard many mean comments. Too bad to have a handsome face without money. I would have definitely married him if he wasn't poor. I don't know how he offered to go to gym and get a body like that. But Taehyung just shrugged, shaking his head because he doesn't care about those mean comments anymore. You were sitting on your bed staring at the wall blankly. You heard someone knocking the door. You go opening the door. It was your mother's friends. Hey baby, you look gorgeous, Aunt Julie said, coming inside your room with other aunts. Thanks, you mumbled, looking down. Tomorrow is your wedding, Mayan. You need to get more gorgeous. Come on, let's change your hair color. Aunt Mary said, dragging you towards the dressing table to change your hair color. Oh Mo, is this an angel? Aunt Sarah said, styling your hair, who indeed looked like a beautiful angel on earth. Juice, Taeyong's heavenly voice echoed through the bedroom offering juice to the guest. Your heart skipped a beat when you heard it. You turned to look at Taeyong through the mirror and you both stared at each, uh, each other. Taeyong couldn't take his eyes off of your gorgeous beauty. You were dressed in a white crop top, your newly colored brown hair was styled perfectly and your eyes were sparkling. Taeyong felt his heart flutter. Taeyong snapped out of his trance when he heard Aunt Fairy's voice. He looked at her and saw her smirking at him. Done staring? She asked. Too bad, wine is like a gem. You can just look at her, but do not touch her. She is off limits, you know, waiter. Aunt Ferris laughed with her friends and Taehyung felt his heart sink. He knew that she was right. You was out of his reach. You was a wealthy socialite and Taehyung was just a helper. You stopped Aunt Ferris in her tracks, holding her wrist gently but firmly. You glared at, her so glared at her softly, but your voice was cold. Don't talk to Taehyung like that, you said. He is not a waiter, he is a guest. Aunt Ferris was surprised by your sudden change in demeanor. She had never seen you so angry before. But he is a waiter, she said. He is here to serve us and he is also my friend. You said, and I will not tolerate anyone disrespecting him. Taeyong, you turned back but felt a pang in your heart noticing that Taeyong already left the place. Too bad Wyan is like a gem. You can just look at her, not touch her. She is off limits, you know, waiter. Tiong rolled his eyes internally when he remembered Aunt Fairy's words. Touch, I have even kissed Wyan countless times. He mumbled slowly, but Tiong didn't let Aunt Fairy's words go get to him. He had been mocked by rich people before and he had learned to ignore them. He knew that he was good enough regardless of his social status. The pre-wedding celebration was in full swing. The ballroom was filled with people all, all dancing and laughing and having a good time. But Taeyong was not one of them. He was working behind the bar serving drinks to the guest. He was trying to keep busy himself to forget about you. Oh Mo, Wyan is here.
Vyan is so gorgeously beautiful. Bogum is so lucky to have Vyan as his wife. Vyan is looking like an angel. Taeyong's ear perked up when he heard people mentioning your name. He looked up and saw you walking down from the stairs elegantly dressed and surrounded by your friends. Taeyong's heart skipped a bit. You looked so beautiful and regal. It was hard to believe that you was real. Mr. Lee made you sit beside Bogum. Taeyong looked down because he couldn't bear, bear to see his love with somebody else. Nevertheless, he slowly looked at you. Taeyong's heart threatened to come out of his chest when you looked back at him with, a, with your sapphire eyes. You felt shivers in your body when you saw Taeyong looking at you like a predator with so much of love. You blushed playing with your long fingers but soon your smile faded when you realized that you are going to marry Bogum, not Taeyong. Your heart ached. You love Taeyong more than anything in the world but you knew that you both could never be together. Your family would never approve of your relationship. You sigh and turned away. You tried to focus on the party but you couldn't stop thinking about him. You wondered if Taeyong knew how much you loved him. You are looking so beautiful babe. I can't wait to for our first. Bogum whispered in your ear. Suddenly you started to cough vigorously closing your mouth. Everyone panicked looking at you. Taeyong's hand is to feed you water or rub your back but he just stood there not wanting to create any scene to embarrass you. Waiter, bring water for her, Aunt Tokyo said looking at Taeyong. Taeyong nodded his head running towards you. He was about to feed you water but Bogum grabbed the glass from Taeyong's grip harshly feeding it to you. Go away, low life. Bogum mouthed to Taeyong. Taeyong nodded his head, walking away from there. He sighed, leaving the party when you, you stood up, wiping your lips with a tissue. I'm not feeling okay. You guys can enjoy the party. Thank you. Have fun. You said, getting out of the venue, and Bogum went behind you. Aunt Ferris saw Taehyung walking on the corridor. Waiter, keep these gifts in Vyan's room and here is the spare key. Aunt Ferris said, giving the keys to Taehyung. He nodded his head, carrying the heavy gifts. Hey waiter, there are cameras all around the mansion, so don't try to steal anything from Miss Vyan's room, okay? Otherwise, I will drag you to the cops by myself, understood? Ferris warned uh, and Taeyong interne internally rolled his eyes, nodding his head, going towards your room. Taehyung entered the dark room without making any noise. He sighed, keeping the gifts on the table. He was about to go, but he heard your voice from the balcony. So he decided to eavesdrop your conversation. Taehyung's heart pounded in his chest as he crept towards the balcony door. He had no intention of eavesdropping and on your conversation, but he couldn't help but be curious. Because you was also the person Taeyong had the most complicated feelings for. Taeyong went towards the door. Luckily, door was slightly open. He peeked inside and saw you and Bogum talking. You can't touch me before our wedding. Even if we get married, you can't touch me without my consent. You angrily said, pushing Bogum harshly. And Taeyong was about to break Bogum's teeth, but he stopped. 
you know your mother's last wish for you is to get married and have kids with me but how can we have kids when you won't let me touch you bogum asked with a smirk and you cl- clenched your fist nodding your head saying yes bogum smirked leaning into your neck making you feel disgusted you saw taeyong looking at you through the glass door with his teary eyes Taehyung quickly quickly ran out of your room wiping his tears. You pushed Bogum. Stay in your limits. You said run, running out of your room. You saw Taehyung walking in the car- corridor looking down. You grabbed his hand dragging him inside a room. You slammed Taehyung's back against the door hugging him tightly. What are you doing Miss Wayan? Leave me. Taehyung said pushing you softly but you shook your head hugging him more tightly. I am sorry Tae for those harsh words. I didn't mean anything. You cried snuggling more into Taehyung's neck. What will others think, Miss Wayan, if they see us like this? Taehyung said sarcastically. I love you, Taehyung, and I don't care, you said, and Taehyung chuckled in disbelief. If you would have loved me truly, then you wouldn't have cared about your reputation and money. Taehyung said, trying to push you. You looked at Taehyung with hurt in your eyes. Yes, I wouldn't have cared about anything if it wasn't my mother's last wish. You screamed and Taehyung stopped struggling in your arms. What? Taehyung asked in shock. My mom was the one for me since my childhood and dad was always busy. Sometimes I feel like my mom is the only parent for me and dad didn't even care about my mom. So me and mom only had each other. My mom suffered from blood cancer and her last wish to see me getting married. That's why you cried loudly in Taehyung's neck. He gulped, pressing your back. Why didn't you tell me before? Taehyung said in low voice. I love you. I love you so much. I would have even fought with this entire world for you if it wasn't my mama's last wish. You cried more at a point you couldn't breathe. Hey, calm down, love. Taehyung said, wiping your tears, and he hugged you back. I think my life is going to be like hell from tomorrow, but I wish you li- live a happy life ahead. You said, kissing Taehyung's forehead. I wish you live happily with Bogum. Taehyung said, hugging you tightly. You both pulled back from hug. Can I kiss you one last time, Tae? You stuttered badly, looking into Taehyung's teary eyes. Taehyung just held your knee, pulling you into a loving kiss. Taehyung kept kissing you until you both were out of breath. Taehyung slightly pulled himself back, but you ca- captured his lips again, kissing Taehyung hungrily. You swirled your tongue inside Taehyung's warm mouth. Why and stop? Taehyung said when you unbuttoned his shirt while kissing him. You watched him in disbelief as Taehyung pushed you harshly and ran out of the room. You felt tears swelling up in your eyes. You sank to the floor and hugged your knees to your chest. You felt so lost and alone. You loved Taehyung more than anything in the world but you didn't know how to prove it to him. It was your wedding with Bogum. Bogum stood in the cell with a big smile on his face. He was fixing his necktie. Taehyung walked through the crowd of guests serving champagne and juice. He tried to keep a smile on his face but his heart was heavy. He couldn't believe that you was getting married to someone else. He was wearing waiter's outfit like white shirt with a tie and black slacks.
The big door got opened, revealing a gorgeous you holding a bouquet in your hand. Your father held your hand, walking with you on the side. Congratulations, your father said, keeping your hand above Bogum's hand. Bogum smiled, leaving a small peck on the back of your hand. The ceremony began and Taeyong listened to the officiant's words. He could barely focus on what was being said. He was just too busy watching you. Park Bogum, do you take Levi and as your lawful wife to have and to hold from this day forward? For better, for worser, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until that do you apart? The priest asked. I do, I do, Bogum said enthusiastically, making the guest chuckle. Lee Mayan, do you take Park Bogum as your lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you apart? The priest asked and you was busy looking at Taeyong. You gasped when Bogum squeezed your hand roughly. You blinked and looked at Bogum. You could see the anger in Bogum's eyes. Say yes, Wayan. Bogum said through greeted teeth. Answered the question. Taehong beat back his sob, looking down at the marble floor. He wanted to scream and stop this marriage, but he couldn't do anything. He can just see the love of his life getting married to someone else. You said looking down, making Bogum smirk. Finally, Taehyung let out low whimper when he heard your words. His whole body was shaking and his tears were flowing non-stop, making the ground wet by his tears. He just can't see his love with someone else. I declare you both as husband and wife.